Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Mic Drop Podcast. It's your boy Alex Werdu. Follow me on Twitter at Werdu the Dude. Follow me on um, fuck that up. Follow me on Instagram at Werdu. Follow the Dude. his OnlyFans at OnlyFans <laughs> slash Micro Penis sixty nine. <laughs> follow the Mic Drop Podcast. Follow the Mic Drop Podcast on Instagram uh, and follow us um, on Twitter. Sometimes we post. Um, you know the clips to the podcast on there also um, like fan trek porn like yeah bro i seen it bro it's fire <laughs> <laughs> i got a special guest here um one of the one of my personal favorite um producers on youtube um how, how do you pronounce her name again uh bujo cujo it, it's cujo i just put a b here to like be fancy you know okay okay <laughs> I was about to say, well, this man's a blood over here it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> Big <Spend> reveal. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I left the states, man. It was it wasn't safe for me over there, you know. <laughs> so, um, talk about how old you are. You know where you're from. Um, and talk about your early childhood, where you went to school, all that. All you right. Know? Okay. Okay. So uh, I was traumatized at a young age. <laughs> <laughs> My uncle came into my room and he was like, hey, yo, <laughs> you want to play Club Penguin with me? And I, and I was like, Club oh, Penguin. I, I don't even have an uncle. What the fuck is this? Your man said Club Penguin. I'm dead. <laughs> so uh, basically, uh, like as a child, like uh, I traveled around a lot and shit, uh, which is why I speak uh, three languages, American oh, English, British English. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i'm kidding i'm kidding boy like yeah no I, like i moved around a lot so i was born uh in belgium which is a tiny fucking country about the size of like is it okay to cuss on your podcast or is this like yeah, a christian? yeah bro. is this like yeah. a christian podcast like the end of the prayer <laughs> like... <laughs> hell no bro go ahead bro. You're good. yeah so like I, I was born in belgium uh and at the age of two my parents were like wouldn't it be cool if our children had like a big backyard because Belgium is like densely populated and either you live like in the countryside and you live there with like one other person because that's all there is in the countryside or you live in the city and then you don't have room for a backyard and all that shit. So my parents were like, let's pack up and bounce. So we went, we went to the States okay. and we lived in like uh, Ohio and Pennsylvania and shit. Like okay. we visited Florida and Arizona. That was dope. The only thing I remember of Florida is like seeing a sign that said, watch out for alligators. Yeah. I yeah. remember being like, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's and, crazy uh, there. Yeah, you been to Florida? Yeah, I've been to Florida. I was in um Orlando for work like like four or five months ago. Oh, okay, dope dope. What you do for work, bro? I'm inter I'm turning this around, bro. I'm interviewing <laughs> you, bro. <laughs> um I'm basically like a processor, like we process like petitions and shit. Like we like um like we gather all like petitions from like different counties and then we just process them to the, wow. the government offices and shit. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Okay. You get to go okay. around the country. You know what I'm saying? It's cool. You give back to the community, you know? <laughs> you know what I'm community service, you feel <laughs> me? Put my hours in. <laughs> right. so, did you, so, um, yeah. did you go to school anywhere? I was actually uh, homeschooled. My parents were like, oh, school, school is whack. Kids don't Yo, learn shit dope. at school. How, how was that? Like, how was like the transition from like, have you always been homeschooled? I was always homeschooled. I, I can't talk about it. <laughs> no, I was always okay. homeschooled, bro. Like, I, I never knew school so much. Like, uh, when I was, like, around 13, I, I went to school, like, part-time. And honestly, it was uh, a fucking shock, bro, from adapting from, like, just being at home with my family, like, <laughs> and then suddenly being, like, dropped into, like, society. Uh, like, uh, yeah, it, it was a crazy transition. Uh, but, yeah, no, I, I, I was always homeschooled, though, and that kind of, like, allowed me time to, like, really focus on what i wanted to focus on so like let's say i was like oh i'm gonna study uh the, the, the black death or something you know like the medieval fucking plague thing that i could just like go to the library or go to my parents bookcase and just like grab books and really dig into that shit for like months on end like mm -hmm. uh like yeah no it really allowed like my creativity and uh and all that shit to shine because like uh like i I'd, i've been drawing ever since i could hold a pencil so, like, I used to love to draw, like, I made paintings and shit, like, you know, I've I always been into, like, the arts, and not going to school allowed me, like, so much fucking time for that, you feel me? 
That's what's up. That's what's up. I fuck with it. Um, right. shit. So, like, who would you say are like your biggest like like inspirations as far as like becoming a producer? Like, what made you like? Who made you be like? You know, I'm gonna just I'm gonna start making beats. Like, who? Like, where did that come from? It was Barack Obama. <laughs> 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 oh, uh, shit. shit actually like the way i got into producing is like i guess this happens to a lot of like white dudes because like <laughs> what, i was living in belgium at the time and i was hanging out with like a, a very mixed friend group you feel me like people from all over the world and shit and we used to do like rap ciphers together and shit but i, I was i sucked at it yeah <laughs> <laughs> and one of the dudes was like bro you play piano why don't you make beats and i was like wait a minute I, i'm not enjoying this rapping shit too much anyways like uh, like i'm musical yeah. and shit let me let me try that so like my dad who makes like uh ambient music and uh and uh like uh, sort of like lounge and like uh post rock and stuff like this like he, he experiments with sound and stuff as like a hobby mm -hmm. uh he uh actually introduced me to my first like uh music production software which was called moolab and with this like you could only put like fucking four four tracks and if you put more than four tracks it would go like like you could only like put like four sounds at a time to make a beat so it was incredibly whack That's crazy. uh like uh so th so after that like i uh, i cracked that fell and uh I, I paid for it now i have it legally now but like uh yeah <laughs> <laughs> and that's uh, that's how i got into producing but as okay. far as like inspirations like since i've been a producer i've got more interested in like the production side of hip hop because before that i had no idea how it worked i was like oh that's good music i like this rapper and then yeah. like I, I started to really like realize like oh shit producers don't get credit and shit and uh yeah, yeah. i started to look like who is making the fucking beat because really it's like half the fucking work like without the beat the the, the rapper is just going to be doing acapella and shit, like, oh, 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 you know what i mean like so i uh, like my next, my next question gonna be kind of about that with people yeah. getting credit for beats oh shit let's go i don't know if you know where i'm going with that <laughs> let's fucking I follow, do this <laughs> I, follow, I, know, I know i cracked uh, you know this is my nardwar time this is nardwar. <laughs> so my question is yo what's good with you and az bro so basically I stole his grandma's car. No, like, uh, basically, <laughs> <laughs> like, basically, we used to have beef, but that shit has since been squashed. Mm -hmm. But to put it in the most diplomatic manner, uh, we were working, like, at the time, we were working closely together. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was it was really, like, kind of, like, chaotic and hectic. Like, we weren't really super well organized. Like, every week, we needed to drop something new. And me personally, I was feeling like every time I drop something, I want it to be better than the last thing I dropped. So I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. And at the same time, like I wasn't seeing like much, uh, much return from it. Like I, w I wasn't seeing my name posted places and shit. Like you had a couple people that like mm -hmm. really looked into the details and, and shit and be like, oh, wait, that's actually from Cujo. You know what I mean? So I was feeling a bit like uh, undercredited, I guess. And uh, and then like basically like we came to a, a, a disagreement. I'm trying to figure out how to put this the most diplomatically, but basically we came to I like, want your raw. I want the raw reaction. How did it? How did <laughs> it, how did that make you feel inside when that happened? Ah, I, I called want, my how mom. Did, your initial <laughs> thoughts. What was going through your mind when this shit happened? Basically, when when all this shit went down, like uh, the way I saw it was like, oh shit, someone's gonna run away with with credit for what I've done. And like I wasn't down with that because I think stealing somebody else's creation artistically is probably like the worst fucking thing that can happen to you. you feel me? Because like art is part of you. What you create is part of yourself. It's really you. Like it's your soul. It's like the most like real part of yourself, in my opinion. You feel me? So like at that point, I was like, holy shit! Like someone's gonna walk away with with what I did, and uh, I was mad, bro. I was fucking pissed, bro. Like uh, no cap. So like uh, I hit him up and I was like, yo, what's going on and shit? Because basically what happened is like uh, I didn't answer him for like like a couple hours or some shit. And then he started like removing me as like collaborator on, on beats on beat stars to like get my attention, like which was child. Like we've talked about it since he was like, yeah, that was childish. I was like, yeah, like we were, we were on some fuck shit back then. Like yeah. and it's actually funny because like a couple like months before this had gone down, 
we had said to each other like yo we should make fake beef like fake drama to like <laughs> pump up the views so like it's kind of like yeah. ironic you feel me but like yeah this was like yeah. not fake shit unfortunately i wish it had been fake but uh yeah so like we we like really like fell out and shit like i was like fuck it i'm gonna post like like a video about how this is like uh these are my beats feel me like i'm gonna prove that this shit is mine before it can go any further than my them that I'm, i'm cool you feel me so like then ensued like months and months of us just like being uh bitches to each other and like uh being rude to each other and shit and just beefing but like we squashed all that now so so it is what like, it is were you like the one that was making the beats like and he was like making like the video like because I, i used to follow both of y'all and like i feel like it felt almost like cinematic like it was like a movie type shit oh yeah yeah that was definitely something that like uh that like we were a concept that we were working on together i was like kind of doing the audio side and he was doing the visual side of things uh but it doesn't mean like like he has like zero credit there's some beats where like it was all me and there's some beats where like we would be talking on discord and he'd be like yo why don't you like put that section over there and then like i would do it and there was even some beats where we actually fully collabed on you feel me uh but like uh, visually like it was mostly him like deciding like oh we're gonna use this picture or that picture you feel me okay and then like from out of those like you so did you like take the beats that you fully made by yourself and put it on your own channel uh, i actually uploaded uh when all this bullshit went down when all this drama went down i actually got, like went and uploaded all the beats that I, that we'd posted on his channel <laughs> i was like fuck this <laughs> i went and posted like all of them as free download on my soundcloud i was like because <laughs> like i wasn't making money off this shit on beat stars anymore so i was like fuck this bro you yeah. i'm not making money off my own shit i'm gonna give this away for free <laughs> eat that <laughs> and, uh, yeah <laughs> Yeah, and like I but, since like reposted one or two on my YouTube, but uh, like with slight changes, like uh, there's like a, a, a Drake type beat before Blue Two, I think it's called. Like I reposted that shit on my on my own personal YouTube, but that's because I also like I I adjusted the drums, like I wanted the drums to hit harder, so I did that shit. Like did some small adjustments and reposted it. Okay, so, yeah. And when I found out it was really you, I was like, bro, this this is the mastermind behind this shit. <laughs> I always used to come back to your shit. I was like, damn, this dude's lazy is hard, but I didn't know no. like, if it was like a, uh, like, I don't know if it was really him because like I saw the visuals and the visuals were crazy too. Yeah. And they just felt like every beat had like its own theme and it felt like it was like a, a short film almost. It's like, yeah. who the yeah, fuck yeah, is yeah. really behind this shit? And then I did research and I found it was you, so not gonna lie like we did dope shit together bro like f for the short time that like we were both like not too stressed and both like really like sim symbiotically working together that was dope bro like we were really like uh you know like a really fucking good team for like a short while like uh we really understood each other artistically and shit like you know what i mean like it was yeah. dope bro no homo would you uh, <laughs> <laughs> would you uh would you ever work with him like in the future or is it just like You just squashed it but you're not gonna like i mean pay me like one million bucks and we'll talk about it. <laughs> no i mean uh we we actually have collab since then but i mean collab because like since then like uh i've put like he's posted like i think maybe two three of my beats of my newer shit on his channel uh but it was stuff that like uh as far as i recall like he didn't do shit on it was just like beats that were already posted on my channel that we then posted on his film like oh. uh I don't know, like, I don't really know if I'm interested in, like, in making new stuff with him since, like, I'm kind of doing my own thing now. Like, uh, I don't, I don't really enjoy collabing too much unless, like, I see something there. Feel me? Like, it, it's, I enjoy, like, collabing, like, one short time or, like, a one-off, you know, like, here and there. Like, like with Godzair or Saint or or Ty, like shout out to these dudes. Like I enjoy collabing with them because they bring something to the table that's like really fresh and unique to me. Like it's something I wouldn't necessarily think of. So in that case, yeah, but I, I wouldn't want to do like a sustained collaboration, like a team up thing. Just like mm -hmm. a one off is cool. And actually, like I'm, I'm working on a project with Naze right now which i okay. haven't done i haven't done work on yet whatsoever like <laughs> i've just been making custom beats and bullshit but yeah we'll see we'll see how that comes out like coming okay, up on okay. his channel sometime soon i guess okay. but yeah like i said the beef is squashed and shit like we both grew to fuck up a little bit and yeah
Okay, okay. Shout out to Nazy because I, I was that was the biggest question I was wondering. I was like, is there still beef? I was like, I gotta address nah. this shit. I still see people come on my channel like fuck Naze. And I'm like, no, no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> we're cool now. Just thank you for having my back, but it, it's good. It's cool. Facts. It's cool. We were all on your side, bro. Cause I was bro, like, that was man. dope. Bro, I just want to express like like my gratitude for for all for you and everyone else that came through at that moment. Like, we got your back, Kujo. Cause like it really like Bro, it felt so fucking good to know there were people out there that like believed me and realized like uh, that I was spitting facts and realized like and, and that fucked with my music so much that were like, you know, just there there for me. Feel me like uh, yeah, that was yeah. that was really touching, bro. Uh, I'd be like crying myself to sleep. Like, at least the people love me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real, bro. Like, because like I used to go to like Nazi's channel all the time. And like I would go to like even before Blue and like all like the bigger you know, view beats, I was like, damn, this shit conceptually is like a fucking masterpiece, bro. Yeah, like, bro, who's making shit. these beats, bro? It can't just be this guy. Like, it, Here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you listen to, like, stuff, like, beats from his channel before I got there, and then after I got there, like, you can hear a definite, like, difference, feel me? Mm -hmm. So it's like kind of obvious, like okay, this is like not the same producer like making these beats yeah. anymore. Like, there's a difference here, you know. Mm -hmm. And then after I left the channel, like it changed again. So I mean, it, <laughs> go figure. <laughs> so does he? He makes beats too, right? Or is he like? Uh... Yeah, he, he makes beats in uh, in Logic, like you know, the software Logic. Yeah, uh, I, I've always been against Logic because I think it's good for recording, but for making beats, I've done it a couple times. It's fucking horrible. I don't know how he does it, but he does it. Yeah. And you uh, use Pro Tools and shit? uh, you use Pro Tools? No, nah, I use uh, I use FL Studio. Oh, okay. okay, yeah, I actually tested out LMMS before I had FL, and LMMS, I don't know if you've ever used this before, it looks a little bit like FL, it's like a it's like a FL Studio from Wish, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> oh, oh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay, it's a fucking uh, it's a great value, uh, for you, Luke. yeah. Uh, Drops okay, it. okay. I got the lazy, lazy shit out the way. So you know what I'm saying. Um, so like, who, who would um, who have bro, bro. Honestly, with? honestly, if you'd ask me all this, like back when it all happened, I'll be sitting here ranting for like fucking like two hours. Like, <laughs> then he did this, and then I said this, and that's because he like, but like, no, nah, I'm cool down I was about get it. The scoop for real. I was like. <laughs> What did Daisy do behind the scenes that fucked you know him what over? He <laughs> I heard he likes to touch animals. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead, bro. But shout out to Daisy, man. Shout out to Daisy, man. You know, yeah, what I'm bro. Saying? Shout wanna, out to. Want to do an interview? Hey, I'm here, bro. But, um, <laughs> shit, yeah. I mean, fuck it. Um, so who who have um who have you collabed with so far? Like in terms of just like other producers like artists like who have you produced for shit like that all right well the list of people i produce for like we're just gonna stick to like bigger names otherwise it's, i'm gonna have to read you a list of like five hours <laughs> but like uh let's see we got like there's one track from i don't know if you know 40xl i think he's from new york or some shit 40xl nah uh well he made a a, a song on one of my beats with uh the game and jada kiss and uh, like, like I didn't even realize it at the time, but then like later, my brother was like, "Yo, bro, you made a song with Jada Kiss and the Game, bro." And I was like, "Wait, I did that." <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then like other big placements, I'd say it would be uh, Snot. And okay, okay. <sighs> wait, who else? Ah, oh, the Bleacher Report, bro. You know this, uh, this, this, this like new Bleacher thing is called yeah, Bleacher Report. You know this the shit? sports shit, the basketball, yeah, <laughs> yeah, the sports shit. Bro, how'd they use your shit? They use my shit. They, it was on like their Instagram. I think it's still there on their Instagram. And, like one day, someone sends me this shit. They're like, "Yo, bro, Bleacher Report used your beat." I was like, "What?" And I went to look, <laughs> and I was like, "You motherfuckers, they credit me. <laughs> I'm calling lawyers." <laughs> <laughs> they, did they? Did they not really credit you though? They didn't, bro. They just posted a, a video of like some some basketball footage with my beat underneath. I was like, okay, bet at least they're using my shit though. That's dope. Like I, I felt kind of honored. Yeah. What uh, beat was it? Uh I think it was the brown baby one, I think. Brown baby. Oh, okay. I think so. Okay. I forget. I forget. It was one of those. Or motherless child. No, it was motherless child. That was the one. Oh, okay. That's one of my favorites. Yeah. That's one of my favorites. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, I'll be studying your shit like the like a Bible, man. I'll be studying your I'll be studying your catalog, bro, because I have like my personal top five producers right now. Personally, you're you're in them, like honestly, because I feel like oh, the, the way the way your beats build up and shit, like that shit is like godly, bro. That shit is fire. Bro. Yo, I appreciate it. That, uh, I appreciate yeah, no it, bro. Problem, bro. Yeah. Um, you're one of my fav- top five interviewers too, bro. Like, I just want to put on, that man. out there. <laughs> Have you have you done a have you done another uh, interview before? Yeah, with Nordwar. He was like, "Who the fuck are you?" I was like, "Interview me!" And like, yeah, no, 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 no with nobody, nobody. I was about uh, to say, I was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck am I, I just doing? pulled up on him while he was eating a bagel at like a fucking bagel shop. <laughs> like, yo, Nordwar. Like, he's like, "Who the fuck are you?" <laughs> <laughs> interview oh, <really>? me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm not done any interviews though. Okay, 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 okay. Um, shit. Okay, so what I'm gonna ask, bro? I checked out your catalog too. Though I went to your YouTube, and I was like, oh, let's see who else he's interviewed. And then yeah. like there was this one like video with like I guess he's like a bodybuilder or some shit. But I didn't realize he was a bodybuilder. I was like, why is there some swole ass dude with no shirt on? Like, <laughs> what? Type, what type of podcast am I getting into here? <laughs> yeah, that's my cousin. That's my cousin. He's a bodybuilder. Oh, for real? He on, yeah, he was on um America's Got Talent. I think yesterday. No way. Yeah, he's a bodybuilder. Yeah. Oh, okay. Shit, that shit was oh, crazy. Bro. When he told me he was going to be on that, I was like, fuck no, bro. Stop lying to me. Uh-huh. That shit came out. I was like, yo, that shit is crazy, bro. But <laughs> no yeah, that's my cousin. Um, How would you say your beat making has gotten better like as time has progressed? You know, I wouldn't say like... that. I wouldn't say that. I would just say bro? it's consistently got worse. <laughs> <laughs> consistently got worse okay how's it got worse i don't know man i just, I just <laughs> it's just bad man it, it, I, i'm just gonna quit i no, like uh i would say at least like my mix has got better because i i the way i used to mix shit you would play this on like speak like monitors like speakers that are like like not not good and they would they would just break like like the, the way i used to mix my beats was fucking terrible like the kick would be like at like nine million DB, and the oh, hi hats too. It'll be like tick, 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 tick. It sounded terrible. So like <laughs> in the past, like two three years, like I worked on like mixing and shit. And I'd also say like variation, because back in the day, also like my beats would just be like one big loop. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like yeah. back in the day, back in the day. So I guess like uh like the beat structuring and shit, and like clean cleanliness with the mix and all that. Like I'd I'd say like now since like compared to like five years ago the shit i make now is is way more like i guess you could say rappable like if you listen to my beats now compared to five years ago like you'd be like oh i could i could spit on that whereas like five years ago i'd be like yeah <laughs> <laughs> but no your shit is that's part of the reason why i like your beat so much is because like that shit feels like your beats are like fucking works of art like, <laughs> fuck. Yo, like that's what i'm aiming for bro thank you thank you for for yeah and then with Maisie's visuals and shit like it just only added to that but then when i found out like you were behind like the beat like the beat structure and like the hi-hats the drums the fucking like the build-up leading into you know bro that shit i was like damn bro Shout, shout out to Nate for doing some restructuring though. Like uh, I know there was a couple beats where I was like, "Yo, listen to this beat. It's perfect." And he was like, "We're just gonna move this around and that around, and then like it sounded better." So, so shout out uh, to- credit where credit is due, bro. Like you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. Shout out to Nate bro. Shout out to Nate bro. Absolutely. That's enough shout outs, um, bro. You're limited to five. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So um, shit. Uh, like as far as like your YouTube channel, what would you say is like? your favorite type of beat to make like your favorite that depends type that depends on on what day it is uh like i think that's why i make like so much i guess you could say i make a lot of varied shit like it's it's i hope it's not always the same uh yeah. like um like uh, some days i prefer like to stick with like the kanye west like sort of like kujo brand and some days I'm like, let me make something like a whole experience. Let me make like a a whole like, you know, storytelling yeah. fucking thing. And and sometimes I wake up, I'm like, yo, let me light this blend, just make something chill. And like, you know, it really depends yeah. on, on, on what day it is, to be honest. Yeah. But in general, like the, the shit I get the, the the most out of is making like like dark beats that are like kind of like 
like a bit epic like you know like uh something that like if you listen to it even without vocals it tells a story that's like my favorite my favorite exactly. shit to make exactly bro that's why i'm like bro you're you're definitely in my top five person <laughs> i appreciate Which you bro is, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> i think there was a beat i don't know if it was you or nazy but i had i had downloaded it a long time ago but i tried to find it but i think one of y'all like deleted it I don't know if it was you or Nazy or maybe something else, but I think it was called The Detriment of Kane. I don't know if you remember that beat. That do not ring bells. I don't ring a bell? Nah, that's probably his, though. Yeah, that shit was so... I think it was like a Beyonce sample for like the first minute mm -hmm. and a half, and then it was like fucking drums went crazy bro but i, I don't know that shit what was, was it hard. what was it posted though because like since uh like after i bounced like i know he worked with noir and he also worked with uh oh, fuck is he called uh i can't think of his name but i know he's worked with like at least two other producers since i bounced oh for real yeah um let me see because i have the beat here um when i heard that shit i was like bro i gotta write <laughs> Bro, there's, there's dope fucking shit on that channel, bro. Like, no matter who is posting, like, there's always something. Like, I got to say for, for Naze, like, he's a good curator, bro. Like, he's a really good curator. Like, he knows, like, what to post. He knows how to post it. Like, all that shit. Like, he, he's good at that shit. Like, he's got an eye and an ear for, like, what people are going to fuck with. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Who would you say Who would you say is, like, you, like your top five personal favorite producers, like, right now? It could be, like, big producers. It could be small producers. It's like what are we talking like six foot like <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah <laughs> michael jordan no i mean like right now uh <laughs> like one that stays like at the top i know like there's al always so much controversy about the dude and shit but me i like to set aside like the personal life from the art because to me it's two different things and if you're going to sacrifice like your appreciation of an artist because oh they're, they're you know they're controversial like i think it's a shame and that's not what art is about but kanye west bro for sure i, I know it's basic bitch to say some shit like that but honestly yeah. bro kanye west like uh i think for the most part like kanye west fanboys are not really like i'm gatekeeping right now they're not really appreciating like uh for what he, i'm a, like, I'm a fanboy really i mean be appreciated for. Shit, i'm not just like, agreeing. Like, <laughs> like bro like this dude like he, he stays underrated feel me like he's kanye oh he's always saying some crazy but for real though like uh, musically this dude is like a fucking pioneer and he stays relevant like it's been like what 30 years since he's been doing this shit <laughs> it felt like 30 years hey who happy else birthday to kanye it's his birthday today 45th birthday no way yeah, that's his birthday today. I guess I guess I'm not a real fan, bro. I didn't know that. Shout out, you, <laughs> yeah, you bro. Hey, <laughs> I got vinyls on vinyls, bro. Like dead ass, like vinyls on vinyls, bro. God damn, this really is turning into a fucking Nordwire interview, bro. Now you're bringing out the vinyls <laughs> and shit. Got vinyls and everything, bro. Stay ready, man. Stay ready. But I mean, like, who the fuck else has been here for like 30 fucking years and is still as relevant? Who is still as much at the forefront of of hip hop? Who the fuck else, bro? Nobody. I mean, like Beyonce, I think she's been around all like as long as him, but she doesn't make hip hop. So, blah, blah, blah. but he, this dude makes beats and he raps. Like this dude does it all, and he stayed fucking relevant, bro. Like to me, that's a huge fucking achievement. And for that, like, I'd like yeah. to just give a, a shout out, like, to some other producers though, like who I really fuck with. Like you got, uh, like Godze, the uh, Godze Katana, bro. Shout out to him. Like he's been, he, he's oh, real dope. My name sounds familiar. Okay. He's part of Katana Gang and shit. He's he's real dope though. I know, like when the whole Nace shit went down, like he was like uh, one of the big producers who came through. It was like, "Yo, I got your back, bro!" And like uh, that was really cool. <laughs> uh, like uh, Saint Saint is dope too. I don't know if you know Saint. It's like written with an X, S X I N C. That does sound familiar too. That does mm. sound familiar too. Yeah, he's cool as fuck, bro. And uh, but most of all, shout out to Ty, bro. Uh, I don't know. I think it, on Instagram it's now Prod by Ty or some shit. I'm not sure. But I'm always all these like, names sound familiar, but I just don't follow them. Yeah, they dude, this guy familiar. makes fucking dope like drum kits and sound packs, bro. If if, if well, ever bro. you like need to suggest a, a drum kit or some shit to another like to a producer, bro, link okay. this dude, bro. Like he makes dope. He makes some sexy ass samples, bro. Like he sent me like a, a sound pack like with some like a sample pack like yeah. like a week or two ago or some shit, and like I was listening to that like oh my god, like I, I need to put on some soft music and get in the bath, bro. This <laughs> this is sexy. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay 
And who else? What was the fifth one? Uh, fucking DJ Mustard, bro. Okay. Bro, like, he, uh, you know that song from uh, Rihanna, Needed Me? Yeah, that was him? That was him, bro. Like, this dude makes all sorts of shit. Like, this dude is it, no has way. a lot of, like, uh, a variety in, like, his production, bro. Like, this dude is crazy dope, bro. That was really him? What the fuck? Yeah. Also, like, uh, another dope... I don't fucking know his name, but you know uh, Baby No Cash? Baby No Cash. B-B-N-O uh, dollar sign? No, no. Uh, he's like a he's like a, he's a rapper, but his producer, bro. Shout out to him, bro. Like he makes some, like every time like this dude drops a a new song, like that beat is innovative and that shit is cool. Like uh, recently, like he just uh, the rapper Baby No Cash, like he he made a song like the beat was like drum and bass, like but like lo-fi drum, like that shit sounded crazy, bro. Like this shit is inspiring. Lo-fi. Yeah, it was kind of like like smooth, kind of like jazzy drum and bass. Oh, shit was crazy. I, I think it's called Mathematics. Yeah. The song, like check it out. It's this is dope. Okay, okay, okay. And also, but I'd say my all-time favorite producer is Cujo, aka Cujo Beats. This guy is amazing. He's sexy. He's smart. He's he, he just, he just the best, bro. Like, <laughs> talk your shit. Talk your shit. <laughs> Come uh, on, man. But, uh, shit. What else did I want to ask, bro? I think that was pretty much everything. Um, yeah, bro. I think that was pretty much it. I mean, shit. Um, got any questions for me? Shit, I don't know. What's in store for Cujo? <laughs> so, so <laughs> <Fuck no. laughs> I hope lots of placements and lots of money so I can buy my mom a house. That's all, bro. <laughs> okay, that's that's what's up. That's what's up. I fuck with that answer. It's a good Honestly, answer. Uh, yo, uh, like, what's on the way for Cujo? Like, there's this French rapper I'm working with right now called Unter U N T E R, and like, mm-hmm. like French hip hop, it doesn't get enough clout. Cause the French bro are they've been like they've been in hip hop since since way back, and they've always been making like dope shit. And like even right now, like the French really have like their own style of hip hop and shit. So this uh, this is a rapper I'm working with right now called Unser bro. Like everybody who watches this podcast, you included, y'all need to go check out this dude. He's crazy. You're not gonna understand shit because it's in French, but it sounds really good. <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm a sucker for like just good sounding music. If I can't understand it, like bro. I- like you know, in, in know. that case, get into UK hip hop. UK hip hop. Yeah. I fuck with um Dave. Fucking good. I fuck with Dave. I fuck with yeah. Jetta. I fuck with um a lot of a lot of people over there. You know what I'm saying? You, you, I really fuck, fuck with Dave though. You fuck with like the the drill scene and shit over there? Uh not really. Um, but I should though. I should though. Like you don't like the the style of drill or what? Because my girlfriend fucking hates drill. Every time I put it on, she's like, oh, I mean, I don't. This rhythm is so stupid. <laughs> the bass is ridiculous <laughs> <laughs> i mean i don't i don't hate drill like i'll listen to it like i don't mind it like there's a lot of like even like with new york drill like i'll listen to new york drill so uk drill is like nothing for me so mm. yeah i'll definitely listen to that shit bro i'll link you some shit like uh after the interview like the, the british people bro also completely underrated when it comes to music bro like uh for real for real bro yo yeah. just because I, I talk shit about my girlfriend and she might watch this though i just want to say shout out to my girlfriend she's hot and sexy and she puts up with my shit so shout out to my girlfriend <laughs> <laughs> shit, i'm dead bro shit let the people know where to find you bro cujo uh on my pornhub account a pornhub <laughs> page pornhub.com slash shrek movies shrek movies I'm <laughs> shrek <dead>. movie <laughs> Uh, not nah, Instagram at Cujo Beats, uh, YouTube with just Cujo playing Cujo, and that's it, I guess. I don't do Twitter or none of that, just Instagram and YouTube. Okay. And Christian Mingle, you can find me on ChristianMingle.com. Hey. No, nah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You know, Christian <laughs> Mingle is like a dating site for Christians. I know, <laughs> bro. Check this shit out. I made a fake account on there once to like go snoop on like Christian people. That shit is wild, bro. You got people's profiles. They're like like john like 27 i like to read the bible and take walks like th- this shit is <laughs> this shit is crazy bro <laughs> i enjoy oh, holding dude. hands consensually <laughs> <laughs> i'm dead bro man cujo man appreciate you coming on my g you know what I'm saying like i said one of my favorite producers bro um yeah, your producers are fucking gods here bro like Thank Get you, bro. I appreciate like, you. And I, and I don't, I don't really fuck with. I'm very picky when it comes to beats, but when I hear some shit, bro, like, 
that shit. Uh, it I warms me heart. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Mic drop podcast. We out. Peace.